I had to remove some cables from here. It has been uh, connected to the battery. So for not getting an explosion with 12 voltage, I had to remove connection here. And there's still the minus left. I need to see where this is going. Uh, probably need to demount every seat, but this I will do later when I have to demount them anyway. Now let's get started to get the cargo wall out. <laughs> Uh, you see, it's quite easy. You have only f uh, some screws here. It's a lot, but it's not so much. And then it's removed. <laughs> I don't know how to get this off. I think I will just let it flip over and see what will happen. This was unexpected. There were plenty more screws and that's why I couldn't lift it up. Maybe no one shows it on YouTube, so I'm the first. So you see behind here a lot of screws. There, 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 there. They need to be removed, so now it's bent. Yeah, anyway, destroyed maybe. But ah, let's get it done. This has happened really fast. <laughs> Bleeding all over my face. I got this into my face. Luckily, luckily not in my eye. <laughs> uh, this is how it goes sometimes. Everything has been heavy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see how it will be next days. Okay, I just need to do some tape and try to fix it together somehow. Let's get the rest of the work done. Removing the panels over there and there, over there. So I can see which kind of insulation I need, how much and where I have to put it. I think soon I have to stop, my head is hurting. <laughs> but it's not, it's normal. When I hit something against it. I just want you to show you something, how to remove the clips in the sprinter. I, I knew how, but uh, still it was turning around. So I had to check on YouTube, but it's really easy. And if you see here all the clips on the panels, sometimes they turn around and this is normally too small. So when I just go in between here to have some tension, switch it like this, twist it for 90 degrees, go inside behind it and then you just pull it out like this, go behind the bigger one and then it's loose. So even small stuff like this can be a big challenge for people. So I hope it could, could help you in some manner. Soon all panels are removed so I need to take the ceiling and it's good. And here. Here you see a lot of electronic, which normally other sprinters maybe don't have. It's somehow an electronic locking mechanism if you open and close the door. So it's going in and out automatically. I'm not sure if I like this. It could cause any problems, some problems maybe in the future. But now I know where it is. Easy to change things. It's just plug and play. Only issue I need to unscrew everything and do some insulation and then screw it into place again. So this is how far I got and up there is the last panel I will remove and then I need to get get the ceiling down somehow. Well, let's get started to change both green plates into white plates to have a control today and then uh, I have to pick it up at the local traffic station I guess. Let's see what will happen and let's find out. I wasn't able to film the whole process as I couldn't uh, 
film the guy from Stardens Wesen. It's a, yeah, it's a controller who is uh, checking the transformation of the car when I remove a bulkhead. It was really easy. So you just make an appointment in advance online. You pay about 1,100 kroners, 110 euros. And then you just show up with your car when it's demounted. And he's just going through the car, looking at it, taking some pictures, uh, filling out the form. And then you get it sent online, postbox in Norway. And everything is set up and prepared. I hope you like this episode. If you want to see more, please follow up the van build of my Sprinter van conversion.